Let's Ultrasound! On today's edition of Ultrasound Knobology Gallery, let's discuss the output power control. The output power control is one of the three brightness controls on an ultrasound machine, and it increases or decreases the brightness level of the entire image by changing the strength of the sound pulse that's sent into the body. A stronger pulse means that all returning echoes are stronger and all the echoes of the image are increased in brightness uniformly. The output power should be adjusted so that the lowest level that provides a diagnostic image is used. And we always want to consider the ultrasound safety principle ALERA, as low as reasonably achievable. ALERA means that when considering how to improve an image and adjusting ultrasound controls, consider first the impact to the patient. First adjust the TGC, then the gain, frequency, and focal zones to improve image quality, and then only adjust output power higher as a last resort. Let's compare and contrast the three brightness controls on an ultrasound machine. The first First ultrasound brightness control is known as gain, and the gain adjusts the brightness level of the entire ultrasound image by amplifying the strength of the electrical signals in the receiver, and these are signals that have already returned back to the machine from the body. And gain boosts all of the signals, but only in proportion to their original strength. Note that gain does not change the strength of the pulse that's sent into the body. The TGC control, or time gain compensation, boosts the signals in the receiver at different depths in the image. And TGC corrects for attenuation, and this is the loss of the strength of a sound wave as it penetrates further into the tissue, which often makes the deeper portions of an image less bright than the more superficial portions of an ultrasound image. TGC does not change the strength of the pulse sent into the body. The third brightness control on an ultrasound machine is output power, and output power increases or decreases the brightness levels by changing changing the strength of the sound pulse sent into the body. And just like gain, it changes the brightness of the entire image. A stronger pulse sent into the body means that all returning echoes are stronger and all the echoes of the image are going to be increased in brightness uniformly. In the images to the right, an insufficient output power is used in the bottom image and you'll note how dark the image is. In the top image to the right, a sufficient output power is used and you'll note that the image has sufficient brightness. When adjusting the these brightness controls, however, always keep in mind the ultrasound safety principle of ALERA, as low as reasonably achievable. These same brightness levels could be achieved by adjusting the TGC or the gain, neither of which change the strength of the sound pulse that's sent into the body. <laughs>